Now we're gonna go over how to change your theme or what they call styles on a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 4. So first you just wanna be open up to your home screen here and go ahead and tap on tap and hold on any blank space. Once this menu appears, you're gonna go ahead and click styles and wallpapers. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. Once we've done that, you'll see it first brings us to wallpapers here and we can go ahead and pick whatever wallpaper um, we would like. Um, but if we wanna change the style, we'll go ahead and click the tab down here that says style. And as you can see, you have a bunch of different options here to start out with. You have the default one. Um, and so we're gonna go through this just so you can see what you can change within your styles here. So basically everything you can change, you can scroll through here and kind of see. So on this first page, it gives you an overview of what everything's gonna look like, shows you what your icons are gonna look like, your font is gonna look like, um, what color you've chosen, and what uh, shape your kind of apps are gonna be. So we can see, and then if we swipe over, we get a better idea with some more font here to give us an idea of what everything's gonna look like. And then here we can see what our icons are gonna look like. So as you can see, it'll pretty much be icons, um, mostly in your settings and your quick settings and other places like that. Now you can see the color we have chosen, which is a blue color, that's the default one. Um, and so again, like if you swipe down to your quick settings, you can see that's kind of how they look like they're round with that blue color. And then here again, you can see your app icon shape. And then the last option here is wallpaper. Your wallpaper, um, you can always change later on. Once you pick one of these, you can change it to something else you prefer. Or if you already have a current wallpaper that you would like to keep, you can check the box down here and click cur keep current wallpaper. So it will keep your current wallpaper. Or again, you can always change that later. So again, you have a bunch of different options here and you can see on each one of them, you have different colors, different icons, different icon styles, different fonts, all that good stuff. So you can go ahead and pick one of the uh, pre-loaded ones, pre-made ones if you want, or you can actually go ahead and make a custom one. So we're gonna go through um, and show you how to make a custom one. So let's tap custom number two, because I've already made one before. Tap on that, and the first thing you get to do is to pick your font. There aren't that many font choices. As you can see, there's only four, but as you tap on them here at the bottom, you'll see it changes up here. So you can go ahead and see um, what you know letters and numbers and stuff are gonna look like. So you go ahead and just pick which one you like. We're gonna go ahead and pick this third one for now, then we'll click next. And here you can see you have different options between how your icons are gonna look. And so you can kinda go through and pick the ones that you like the most. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the third one again here. And then here you get your option in colors. Again, not a ton of colors, um, but better than nothing. And you can kind of go and click through and see kind of what your accent colors and stuff are gonna be throughout your settings and your apps and everything like that. We're gonna go ahead and pick this, you know, turquoise-ish kind of color. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And now you can choose your app icon shape. You've got four options here, the normal default circle. You can do this kind of teardrop-ish looking thing or the squircle, I think is what they call it, or squares. So we'll go ahead and let's do squares on this one. And we'll go ahead and click next. And you can name, um, your custom style here if you want to, kind of anything you want, but we'll just leave it as custom to for now. We'll click apply. And if you give everything a second, it should hopefully reload. And there you go. You can see my app icons and everything are now square. And if I scroll down, I have the square icons in here with that different kind of accent color. And you can see the different font too here.
<clears throat> that'll kind of go all throughout the phone. Um, some apps don't uh, support the custom fonts and everything like that, so it may revert to the default font in some of the apps. So just be aware of that. Um, but hopefully most everywhere else, it will use that new cu custom font that you've picked. So that's how you set up um, your own kind of theme, your own kind of style on your Pixel 3 or Pixel 4. Hopefully that helps.